Hello, hello, it's Ninka here from Ninks.com and I'm going to share a very quick project with you today. Um, so recently we, it was Halloween and we don't, we don't do Halloween, but if you live in a neighborhood that's predominantly has um, small children, someone will be knocking at your door. So me and the girls made little bookmarks slash gift tags that we gave out to um, anyone who came by and I also made a big pot of hot cocoa that we gave out to freezing parents. So let me show you um, this. It is so quick. We use the hope and the prayer, hope and prayer stamp set. I absolutely love this one. Um, this is actually on loan from my sister. I'm sending that to her shortly, so I will be buying my own, but thank you. It came in handy this weekend. So this is just, it's a celebration paper. Again, surprise, I'm into celebration stuff that's left over. It is uh, the beautifully pinned. And it was from August to September last, last year. Okay, so I have lots of those left over. And I used the tailor-made tag dies and just cut out one of each of these. So these are the two different um, s designs. I don't think that mattered. That's what we did. You can also do um, like a smaller and a bigger one of the same if that's what um, you feel like doing. So we did that and I mounted the little stamp we used on my stamparat so that me and the girls could just quickly, you know, get them all out. So we, what we did is one of them were on the die cutting machine cutting out one of each of these and then the other one was stamping and all I did was add the ribbon and wrote our little verse on there that we wanted. So let me show you. We have that. I mounted that already. So we probably did, I would say, one a minute it, and we were busy for what, half an hour, I think, and we got 30 of these little bookmarks slash gift tags made and we had just a blast handing them out and I've had feedback from friends in the neighborhood saying that they absolutely love the hot cocoa <laughs> and the cards so that was really really fun for us to do that so I'm just holding that for a minute there we go so that is literally all the stamping we did. I'm just going to close this up quickly and then put this away and I'll show you. So we had this and then what I wrote on there, if I can, if I used, just used a colored pen, we didn't, don't really have, um, you know, Bible verse stamps yet, but what I did is I then I just wrote it on here. John 1 verse 5, which is that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot abide by it, I think if I remember correctly. But then to make it shorter, I just added, I wrote light up the darkness. And that was our little craft that we did and we handed that out let me just put my magnet away before that sticks to something and then I just found some ribbon I think it's old old ribbon or retired ribbon I don't even know anymore it was too thick to go through so I just cut it in half you can use the seam binding the crinkled seam binding ribbon or any of the others I think there's a a white white one with a gold trim or a silver trim or something um, you can use any of that so I just you stack them together have the two ends like that put them through oh, both together there you go and then just grab grab your ends and pull it through the loop pull tight and that is that's that you have a beautiful little bookmark or a gift tag now if you um, 
wanted to like write on the back side I would say you can write you know for a gift tag to write the recipient's detail there or just use paper that has a neutral a light neutral background and then um, you can write all of that on the back but you also have the white to write on there okay so that is it now I did this um, already last year I don't know if anyone I remembered I think I did a craft with me which was a long one where I did um, Christmas tags I have some examples still here with the little um, penguins, the penguin paper. So if I will, I will look for that and make a shorter video and just put that in. I think I have one that I haven't posted yet. So it's the same, the same basic thing. This one was a bit, a little bit more involved because I had more stamping, you had fussy cutting, and then I used the same design and then I cut it out as the bigger or the smaller tag. So there's that. I will have this video up shortly if anybody's interested in that. But yeah, this is like i said i think we we made one a minute between me and the two bigger girls and um the little one helped a little so there is it i hope that you enjoyed this quick quick one and i'll just see you in the next video bye bye